Psychopaths do not have the ability to love and bond in the way that neurotypicals do. The psychopath is only attached to what you can give them and do for them. So you're interchangeable. The psychopath objectifies you and serves themselves to whatever you have. Their relationships are strategic rather than based on a need for love and connection. If you can help them get ahead, you are useful, period. And they will either discard you completely or emotionally when you are no longer of use. Or maybe just, you know, keep you on a shelf close by in case they need something in the future. Number eight, female psychopaths develop relationships with their victims. They don't typically prey on strangers the way male psychopaths do. So the closer you are to a female psychopath, the worse her abuse gets. Uh, she may be completely normal in public while abusing you and twisting up your mind in private. Okay, so in no particular order, number one, a psychopath is lacking or seriously limited in her ability to feel empathy, guilt, shame, remorse, fear, and other negative emotions. The female psychopath, however, tends to be very good at faking emotional responses, especially when she needs to, like in the beginning of the relationship or when she's in public. However, she doesn't feel bad when she does something wrong, um, she doesn't feel the need to apologize or take responsibility for harmful actions, and she may not even get why you're so hurt. And if she does, she sees it as your problem. You're too sensitive. 